what's the largest planet in our solar system? It's Jupiter, duh. You knew that. But did you know it also contains over 70% of all the planetary matter in our solar system? Did you know that despite the fact that Jupiter's diameter is 11 times that of Earth, Earth is actually much denser than Jupiter? There's so much cool stuff to learn about this massive planet, but we can't possibly cover it all in a single lesson. However, we will cover enough about its interior, atmosphere, and its moons to give you an idea of what this planet is truly like. Let's start our journey through Jupiter at its interior. The interior of Jupiter is mainly liquid metallic hydrogen, a kind of liquid hydrogen formed under very high pressure. This liquid hydrogen is really good at conducting electricity, and when it's spun about by the planet's rotation, it generates a very strong magnetic field, about 10 times stronger than that of Earth. This magnetic field is like a force shield because it helps to form a magnetosphere, a volume of space around a planet where charged particles are controlled by the planet's magnetic field. Additionally, there's a sort of rocky core located at Jupiter's center that is composed of heavy elements like iron, silicon, and nickel. I say sort of because the nomenclature of a quote rocky core is more about the chemical composition of this core rather than its mechanical properties. Unlike the large interior, Jupiter's atmosphere is only a thin layer of very turbulent gas right above the liquid interior. Therefore, Jupiter is actually mainly a liquid as opposed to gaseous planet. You'd think that because of this, you'd be able to swim on Jupiter, but if the temperature and pressure don't kill you, and they will, then you still won't be able to swim through it. This is because the thin gaseous atmosphere gradually merges with the liquid interior. So what does this mean? Well, right here on Earth, if you were to jump through the air off of a diving board and into a swimming pool, you'd hit a clear surface, a boundary between gas, air, and water. But no such boundary exists on Jupiter because of its gradual transition between gas and liquid. If you were to jump into Jupiter, you'd sink through the gas first and then through a liquid thereafter without being able to splash down on any clear surface. Pretty neat, huh? Anyways, the thin atmosphere Jupiter does have is made up of about 86% hydrogen, and its clouds are composed of ammonia, water, and ammonium hydrosulfide. In Jupiter's atmosphere is also the famous Great Red Spot, discovered by scientist Robert Hooke in 1664. Scientists believe this is a huge storm that has lasted for at least 300 years. As interesting as the Great Red Spot is, Jupiter's moons are just as interesting. This planet has many moons to speak of. Jupiter's four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto are called the Galilean moons since they were discovered by none other than Galileo Galilei. There are at least 60 smaller moons and many more are being discovered all of the time. Some of these smaller moons are believed to be asteroids captured by Jupiter's gravity at a later time, but the Galilean moons likely formed when Jupiter did. What's more is Jupiter has something that Galileo couldn't see. Jupiter has rings. Who proposed to Jupiter? I don't know, but the first evidence of a ring was discovered in 1979. Jupiter's rings aren't shiny like a white diamond or gold. They're actually quite dark and red in color. This means that the material they're made of is likely composed of rock rather than ice. Other observations have shown that these particles of rock are mainly microscopic in size. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system. Its interior is composed mainly of liquid metallic hydrogen, a kind of liquid hydrogen formed under very high pressure. This substance helps to form a magnetosphere, a volume of space around a planet where charged particles are controlled by the planet's magnetic field. At the center of Jupiter is a rocky core that is made of heavier elements such as iron, silicon, and nickel. While Jupiter is mainly a liquid planet, it does have a thin atmosphere that's mainly made of hydrogen, while its clouds are made of ammonia, water, and ammonium hydrosulfide. Jupiter has scores of moons. Jupiter's four largest moons, Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, are called the Galilean moons. And don't forget, Jupiter is married and has a dark ring made of microscopic rocky particles.